Hey guys, today I want to try something different. I'm going to take you sailing with me, with no music, just the sound of the wind, the waves on the hull, and the occasional rumbling. Let's try it. My feet are freezing. I've missed this so much. I started this here in style. Tested positive on the second. Uh, so I had to stay in, in, in the house for 14 days. And today is the first day I can come out sailing. First sail of the year. Not the best winds, but maybe it's maybe it's good this way <laughs> because it's freaking cold. I know you guys see blue skies and sunshine, and you think that. Um, yeah, I just want to go swimming in there. No, no, it's absolutely freezing. Uh, when I was launching the boat, as soon as my feet went in the water, my knees were already aching. <laughs> That's how cold the water is. That's why I'm wearing socks and trainers and all. I want to try and sail for like an hour or so uh, before the sun sets, because it's going to be even colder then. I have no plan guys, let's just sail, that's it. Right, so, more on that cruiser business. I had found a, you know, cruiser in France, uh, Southerly 28, which was actually quite almost perfect for where I failed because that's a lifting hill, you can take the ground no problem, and uh, since I sail here in uh, the estuary and the boat will have to take the ground every time the time goes out, that would be a very good option. Unfortunately I couldn't fly because I tested positive and since it was a good deal, it's not sold. So, I'm still looking for the cruiser. I think, uh, maybe you guys can help me. I'm looking for something bilge killer or lift kill, but it's gonna be something that I'm comfortable with going offshore. So, uh, I'm thinking of maybe a westerly Berwick or a Pentland. Uh, that's a 31 feet boat. There's also Colvin Sailor 29. Uh, I don't know which one of the I don't know which one is best, but uh, I know the Berwick is solid glass and very thick. Uh, the keels are bolted, not molded. The Colvin, I'm not sure if it's uh, solid glass or if it's a uh, scrape or whatever they call it, which is a, a sandwiched balsa or foam core or something. Uh, maybe you guys own one, maybe you can tell me if you sailed any of the two, Berwick or Colwick, which ones do you think is the best uh, regarding sailing ability, pointing to wind, although that won't be too important to be honest. I don't need anything fast and need something safe. Also, I was looking at the Southerly 95, of course. That would probably be the best boat for this area because that has a massive steel plate on the bottom and then a lift keel, also steel. Uh, that, I don't know, that the draft is like 50 centimeters with the keel up, so that would be awesome. Uh, Another boat I look for, as far as cruising goes, like offshore, I think a Golden, Golden Hinds 31. I think they've circumnavigated lots of them. I think they actually had the record for most boats ever to circumnavigate at the time, at some point. Uh, and they're really nice boats. They're triple killed, so they're going to be slow, but they're going to be stable. They're going to be easy to keep to. On. Those are my four boats I'm looking for. Berwick, Goldvik Sailor 29, uh, 
Sun's early 95. And the Golden Hind 31. There's another boat which is probably would be my first on the list boat, but it's so rare. I have in one year of looking for boats, I haven't even seen one for sale. And that's the Sadler 34 build skill version. I know they made a few, they're unsinkable, they sail well, they're bigger boats, probably a bit more expensive, but of getting one of them. Uh, I'll get money somewhere. Oh, forgot my um, doll ball. Damn it. <sighs> so, if you guys know any decent or half decent of these boats for sale, it can't be expensive because yeah, can't afford much. Uh, definitely below 20 grand. I, I'm okay with doing the, all the electronics and uh, whatever needs to be done inside, but I would like a solid hull and also, yeah, the, the motor would be important. I don't want to have to re engine the, the boat again. Uh, standing rigging, obviously, whatever the boat is, I'm going, it's going to. Wherever the boat is and in whatever condition it's in, it needs to be able to sail, let's say from, I don't know, a thousand miles, either from the Met or from UK or north of France, something like that, so it can't be a wreck. I don't know how realistic that is for the price, and I'm killing my boat, pointing too high. Uh, that's what you get talking to the camera. Oh, the wind is cold. <laughs> you can feel it in my ears. They're about to drop. <laughs> no, that's better. Okay, brother. Oh, I'm always so eager to get, to get sailing that I forget the basics. Like, downhole, dagger board, rudder down. Just enough wind so that I don't have to hike. But I'm I'm wanting a nice relaxed sailing session. Actually too far behind, see? That's why the boat's slamming. That's better. So relaxing. And cold. <laughs> Poor forager has been locked down for nearly, well, over two months now. I bet he's loving it. <laughs> That's a life. Better than this, only in a warmer climate. Like the Caribbean, French Polynesia, Fiji, Philippines, Thailand. <laughs> Places I dream one day I can sail to. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have fun with my skiff. Do some videos for you guys. Uh, well, I hope my plan comes together. Well, not really hope. You can't just hope for something. You want to believe in it and work for it. And that's what I'm gonna do. 
fast way. More wind coming here. Yeah. said that before but I freaking love sailing guys. Can you see how me just moving a couple of feet forward on the boat and stop slamming? Because that bow is always in the water now. And that's where you should, you should sail your, uh, your skiff. Well, the Gold Island skiff anyway. Not there on the benches, here. Possible if you're not being lazy, just let it heal a bit like this. Slams less, goes faster, less sweated surface. But that's so much work for now, so it's a brilliant day so far. I'm quite happy with it. Also, if you guys know of any other boat, cruiser, talking cruiser again, because I love sailing, I love my skiff, but I've got a plan, I've got a dream. And I'm going for it, so, so I'm talking about that again. If you guys know any other cruiser that can take the ground and actually go offshore comfortably, I know most boats can nowadays, but uh, you'll take a beating and if things go well. If it hits the fan, you're gonna suffer a lot, so I want something safer. Unfortunately, I cannot have a full kill. The closest to that will be a triple kill, I don't like the golden hinds, but there's not many boats like that. And also, the golden hind needs to be full GRP hull. I found a few, so I'll leave one in the source. Uh, but there are the old plywood with gas cover, which was, that's not even glass, it's nylon with resin cover over the plywood and although that's proven to be very effective boats are still going after 40 years but uh, I'm not that adventurous crossing an ocean on 40 year old plywood boat even though it has cask over over it <laughs> not for me I might be wrong if you think I'm wrong let me know in the comments below also guys if you want to contact me do it through my email that's the video rambler at gmail.com uh, you can find it on youtube as well my email is there so you don't always have to hike i like hiking but uh, i'm close to 50 years old now so <laughs> not long to go only a couple of years ago yeah, I can take maybe an hour on the rail and then it starts getting hard to laugh. <laughs> Your half start aching and you just want to, well, take the reef on and just, yeah, you can sit there but not hike. Sorry I don't have anything more exciting for you today than this, but I'm really enjoying myself. Uh, I won't be able to sail for another seven days, so I wanted to make a video. And yeah, this is fun. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's probably the first time I actually ramble on a video. I usually more quiet than this. But hey, the video rambler, eh? Actually, I'm thinking about changing the name the channel to the Boat Rambler. I think it's more appropriate. My channel started not for boating. It started for, well, just like, like a, as a way of um, sharing my videos to family and friends. And that was it. Um, but I think the Boat Rambler is more appropriate. So, if you guys see a name change too, well, you know why. I guess it's a good time as any to change the battery, I guess.
Don't you love the lazy jacks? On this tack, the sail is so much more effective. The boat goes faster, points higher, and well, it heals easier as well. See my hiking pads? Awesome. Very comfy. Well guys, the battery is not working, so <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to last, but I want to do some more sailing. Right. Just in case this switch is off soon, <laughs> guys, stay safe. And I'll see you next week. Well, don't go yet. Guys, let me know if you like this format in the comment section below and stay safe. I'll see you next week.